today's lesson is lesson 7-4, and that is a lesson on the least common multiple, finding the least common multiple. And our task today is to be able to list multiples of a number and then identify off of those lists which multiples they have in common and which one is the least. In order to be successful in this lesson, you're going to need to know the following. Number one, multiplication facts. That's it. Here's our notes for Lesson 7-4, What Steps Do I Take to Find Least Common Multiple? I'm going to bring uh, the notes to class for review. So let me give you a couple of examples of how to find the least common multiple of a set of numbers. Here we have two numbers, 4 and 6, and we're going to find the, the uh, least common multiple of 4 and 6. And what we're going to do is start by writing the two numbers. Okay, I'm going to find the multiples of 4, multiples of, of 6, and uh, we're just going to list out the multiples until we get up to 24. Why 24? It's because the least common multiple will never be more than 4 times 6. Now that is the uh, least, least common multiple it can possibly be, or the highest least common multiple it can possibly be. So uh, multiples of 4 start with 4, and then that's 4 times 1, then 4 times 2 is the next multiple. 4 times 3 is 12, and so on. So I'm going to go all the way up until I reach 24. So there we go, 8 to, good. Multiples of 6 start with 6 times 1, and then they go 6 times 2, 6 times 3, and then 6 times 4. All right, and then I stop because, again, the least common multiple will never be more than those two numbers multiplied together. At that point, I am going to be circling the multiples that are on both lists. So I've identified here is the 12 is on both lists and the 24 is on both lists. Which one is the least? Well, it's the 12 because it's the smallest number. So the least common multiple, common means both lists, equals 12. Now, uh, let's do another example for 7 and 8. All right, so here is the number 7. We write the number 8. And then we're going to list out the multiples all the way up to 56. I'm not going to go beyond 56 because it cannot be any more than 8 times 7. So we got 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, and then 56. For the 8, we have 8, then 16, 24, 32. Any multiples that are common yet? No. So let's continue 40. 48, and 56. Now checking our list to see, do we have any common multiples? And we do, we have one, it's 56. So the least common multiple of seven and eight equals 56. So the task today is correctly listing the multiples. All right, if you don't already have a piece of graph paper, paper please take one out right now so we can uh, continue with the guided practice. All right, finding the least common multiple of 12 and 10. Start with the two numbers we're going to find multiples of. And again, we're not going over 120. Chances are it's going to be less than that. But uh, sometimes you have to extend it all the way out. So let's see, 12, 24, 36, hopefully I won't run out of room, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96, 108, oh, I'm in the other one now, and then 120. For 10, we have 10, 20, 30, any that are there yet? Nope, 40, nope, 50, and 60. And 60 is on this list, and it's on this list. And at that point, you can stop the second list. You don't have to continue all the way out to 120 because you have identified what is the least common multiple. Here is a common multiple. They have no other common multiples. So the least common multiple of 12 and 10 equals 60. Moving on now to uh, least common multiple of 5 and 6. Start with the 5, listing the 6. And again, it won't be any more than 30, so you don't have to go any further than that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then for the 6, you have 6, 12, 18, 24. 
to 2 there, and 30. And in this case, the least common multiple is 30 because it's the only number that's on both lists and is the least. So the least common multiple equals 30. Here are our tasks. We're going to do H7-4 from the homework book. You're going to do practice uh, problems 1, 2, 3, skipping 4 and 5, and then moving on to 6 and 7. And be uh, extremely careful to find the least common multiple. That's the only um, common mistake is uh, when students don't identify the number that is the absolute smallest. All right, good luck, and turn in those notes.